Hi guys, in this lesson we're going to look at how to choose your first guitar. We're going to look at both the electric and acoustic and what you want to watch out for when you're buying them. I'm going to give advice for people who are very much on a budget and not wanting to spend a lot of money at all. Still trying to figure out whether guitar's for you or not. But I'm also going to give some advice for people who maybe have a cheap guitar at the moment and are wanting to thinking about upgrading what to look out for. I'm going to start off on the acoustic guitar because I primarily do beginners lessons and um, therefore a lot of people for one reason or another tend to start off on acoustic guitar like myself. Um, I started off on acoustic guitar and kind of had the mentality of maybe I'll get an acoustic guitar first when I was like 12 years old and uh, reward myself with an electric guitar later. And I'll tell you what I think about that towards the end of the lesson because I have a new theory on this now. Um, but on the face of it, acoustic guitars kind of all look the same. An acoustic guitar um, has a hollow, hollowed out body and it has a sound hole somewhere near here. Um, they come in all different colours, so you know those sorts of things don't really really matter as such. Um, they do start from about fifty or, or sixty pounds, um, so about eighty or ninety dollars. And um, some of those guitars, if you're still not sure whether guitars for you and you just want to have a go and try it out, and that's all the money that you have, there's nothing wrong with them. Now it's it's kind of like you know cars these days. Even the, the absolute cheap budget ones, they're still going to go. They're still going to make a noise. They'll still be all right for you. You've got to, you should kind of be in the mindset that that guitar might not really last more than kind of six months to a year. If you really are practicing, then you know that you're going to outgrow that guitar definitely. Um, as for size of guitars, they do come in full size, which would be this length and three quarter size is about here. Um, for any child uh, below the age of about nine, I'd probably say maybe get a three-quarter size uh, acoustic guitar. But above nine or ten, just go all out and get them the full-size guitar, uh, in my opinion. They, they will get used to it and there's no, it just kind of future-proofs it a little bit. And uh, I, that's when I started picking up the full-size guitar and it was absolutely fine for me. I've seen it be fine for other people as well. With the strings, um, this is a steel strung guitar, so the top couple, of um, top couple of strings kind of look like cheese wire and the headstock looks like this so it doesn't have holes in basically um, and the strings are wound around this way. If you can see that the top has holes in on any videos that, that you look on in line, I should put a picture up really of, uh, of the type of guitar I'm on about. That is a classical style or a nylon strung style. Uh, of guitar. The pop and rock songs that I teach on, on my YouTube channel here aren't really appropriate for this sort of style of guitar and unless you, to be honest, even if your kid's really young or you're, an, or you're an adult kind of wanting to just get started and you're concerned about your fingers kind of hurting and you maybe think this is the guitar to go for, if you want to do rock and pop music, it's just not going to sound right on one of those guitars. I highly recommend you get a steel string guitar and the strings basically look bronzy at this side and the top two are metal and look like cheese wire. Um, nylon stringed guitars sound very different and the strings are a little bit more forgiving, but um, personally, in my opinion, I don't recommend them for the type of music that you want to play. If you're here watching this video from me and you like the sound that I get from my guitar. Budget acoustic guitars that I dig. Um, if you have, you know, next to no money, you don't want to go all out and, you know, blow £200 or, or $200 on, a, on an acoustic guitar. East Coast uh, guitars are fairly good for next to no money. You know, we're talking £60, £70, um, about $80 or $90. East Coast guitars are pretty good. The Stag ones are all right. Um, I'd try them out first of all if you can in, in a music shop somewhere near you, but they're pretty good. If you're wanting to spend a little bit more than that, I'd really recommend that you get something called a solid top acoustic guitar. With the acoustic guitars, there's not a lot else on them that makes the sound other than the actual wood it's made from. And on cheaper, less expensive guitars, 
the wood that you see on the front is not the wood that it's actually made from. They're basically made from a, a type of MDF or, or plywood that gets laminated. And it will say on the specification of the guitar whether it's laminated or not and which part of the guitar is laminated. Now the guitar that I've used for all my beginner's acoustic videos has a laminated back and sides. Um, they are important to the sound but not as important as the top. The top is kind of the one that vibrates more, it's where the sound comes out of and it's the first bit that gets upgraded when you spend a little bit more money. So this is a solid top acoustic guitar which means that the wood that you see here on, with the grain and everything is the wood that it's actually made from. Um, and they start, they go from about 150 up to about 300 pounds or so with these solid top acoustic guitars. Above about 300 pounds, 350 dollars, um, the back and side starts to become solid wood as well. If you're wanting to keep the cost down, just make sure that you get a solid top and it will sound pretty damn good. Um, the neck and all, all the other parts of wood in it, don't worry too much about it. Um, again, to keep the cost down, if you're an absolute beginner, I would not get an electroacoustic. Um, an electroacoustic means that you can plug your acoustic in to either record or play live. But to be honest, when you're recording, you don't really want to plug in your acoustic because it will sound a lot better with a microphone in front of it. And if you're an absolute beginner, probably not going to be playing on stage anytime soon. And if you jump that fence when you come to it, you're probably going to want a new guitar anyway. So keep the cost down. Just get an acoustic guitar, absolutely standard. If you really like your acoustic guitar, like I do, and you wanted to be able to plug it in, you can buy a pickup kit. I've got an... EAR AK13 Plus pickup system um, in, in this one. They cost about £150 and I got a friend of mine to install it and that means I can now plug this in even though it didn't come um, with a pickup system in it. The ones with a pre-installed system are, are really good. They just whack the price up a little bit so there's no need to go for those otherwise. If you want a better sounding acoustic guitar no matter what they make, make sure you get solid top, solid back and sides, but you're going to push the price up a little bit. For the cheaper brands that kind of offer that, I, I'm not endorsed by Yamaha or anything. They're just, they're, it's the guitar that I have because it sounds great. And um, I've got another more expensive Yamaha guitar that I've found really does what, what I want it to. Um, there's a few of the brands, Takamine and things, that generally the Japanese made ones will be highly specced and, um, or China, is it China? Japanese or China, um, that um, they'll, they'll be highly specced and they'll sound really good without paying kind of top dollar for them. And uh, save the £2,000 Gibson Super Jumbo for a, a little later on when you're a rock star, okay? Let the record company pay for it. Okie dokie! Moving on to Kachunk uh, electric guitar. Um, they tend to come in two styles. This is the one style that I have. This is a Les Paul type guitar. Um, it's an Epiphone, which is the budget brand of Gibson, basically. Um, so I have this because I, at the moment, cannot afford a Gibson Les Paul, which would be my dream guitar. Um, but they cost more than my car. So I'm not going to uh, in invest just yet in one of those, though it's on my list. The other style of uh, electric guitar kind of looks like this. It's a Fender Stratocaster which tends to give a bit more of a cleaner, twangier tone to it. Though still does rock guitar absolutely fantastically. Um, the main difference in, in the sound, the body's a little bit thicker, so they, these things are quite heavy, and uh, the Stratocasters are a little bit thinner, a little bit lighter. The pickups, which is the bit that actually gives you the sound of, of the guitar, most likely, um, are humbuckers in this one, which means there are two strips of these uh, pickups here. And on the Stratocaster, they're just single, which is why they are uh, slightly twangier, give a, a, a slightly brighter tone than these meaty, rocky, um, midi kind of uh, uh, pickups. So for one of these type of guitars, you're talking uh, Led Zeppelin, 
ACDC and uh, like Slash of Guns N' Roses, that sort of uh, rocky, rock, heavy rock tones, which the Stratocaster will still do if you put it through a big old amplifier. But these tend to sound a little bit sweeter for the cleaner or bluesier tones of your Eric Clapton's and Jimi Hendrix, for example. Um, in between those two, sort of a bit rockier, but still kind of clean and twangy, is your Telecaster, which is this one. Um, it, these come with either the two pickups like, like this one, the humbuckers, or the single coil ones of the Stratocaster. And they're kind of seen as your working man's guitar, I guess, you know. Um, Indie bands use them a lot, but Bruce Springsteen plays one of these bad boys, Keith Richards, you know, salt of the earth kind of kind of man guitars. Um, and the, uh, the the Les Paul types tend to be for the flashier guys, kind of 70s rock people. And your Stratocasters tend to be that little bit cleaner and they, they possibly do a little bit more, a bit more of everything. Um, whereas the Les Paul tends to be quite specialised for rock guitar. And then there's a whole host of other guitars that you can get. The guitar states like um, X's and um, Stars, Flying V's, uh, Explorers, um, and there's, there's, there's so many on the market. To a certain extent, the electric guitar, the one that you like, it kind of chooses you. I went into a guitar shop when I was about 12 years old. Actually, I think I saw a guy play one of these on top of the pops and went, that, that's the one for me. That's obviously the guitar that I like. It was kind of self-explanatory. Only transpired later that it suited my kind of style of music and, and things like that. Um, yes, you can get a guitar whatever you want. In, in my opinion, whichever guitar makes you want to play it, that's the one to buy. Simple as that. If you're buying the guitar as a present for someone else and you're spending any amount of money on it, I wouldn't keep it as a surprise. Ask the person first. Let them have some input into what guitar you get because they are kind of personal things and um, hopefully it's something that you're going to be spending an awful lot of time with. With electric guitars, um, they do come in packs which can be very handy as your first kind of guitar uh, to get the amplifier and the cables and the straps and a few picks and a tuner. Those things all tend to come together. Um, the packs that I recommend are definitely the Squire ones um, which are kind of a budget brand of uh, Fender or as the kind of traditional, kind of the, the, not, not the cheapest but certainly one of the best uh, budget electric guitars is a Yamaha Pacifica and it has been for donkey's years. Uh, they are really good. My brother's got one of these guitars. It served him well for so many years and they are really good. Um, if you fancy more of this sort of style, I've got myself an Epiphone. Um, if you think your guitar kind of plays pretty, pretty well, but you just it's not quite getting the sound that you want, then what you can do is upgrade the pickups, which is exactly what I've done on this Epiphone Les Paul, um, which costs, well, brand new, that about £350. Uh, I got this one secondhand from a friend for £200, um, which is an absolute bargain, to be honest with you, because he'd barely played it at all. Um, and what I did was upgrade the pickups. Uh, these particular ones are Seymour Duncan's. Uh, we've got an SH1 and a 59 at the neck. Um, and they give me a PAF kind of Jimmy Page type sound is, is what I was going for through my orange and Marshall cab. Um, so yes, that's really where a 90% or 95% of the sound kind of comes from. All the rest of it is playability which a lot of that can be tweaked or adjusted or kind of perfected with a setup. Um, a guitar setup is where um, you will get, I, even I would, would not set up my own guitars. I, I, I pay for them uh, for a, a guy to do them for me, a guitar tech. And they adjust the height of your strings, they adjust the height of your bridge, and uh, even out all your frets, make sure your saddle height's right, and um, generally just make sure that your guitar has all the right adjustments for it to play as well as it can. Guitars out of the shop, off the shelf, they are put together generally by people who know how to cut a piece of wood and make it, polish it, and make it the best that it's done. They're not always done by players, 
and the setup can um, not be perfect straight out of the shop. So even if you're spending like two or three thousand pounds on a guitar, actually it might not be set up correct and you'll still have to spend about 30 pound or 40 pound on a setup, um, which is something that I highly advise that you do just, just the once. Um, if your guitar costs over kind of 150, 200 pounds, and your you can tell that you know the strings are a little high and things like that. I, I I wouldn't do it yourself. I'd just definitely get a get a guy to do it. So find out who your local guitar luthier um, is. Um, okay, okay. So yes, that's kind of my advice on um, electric guitars and acoustic guitars. If you're wondering, hmm, kind of like acoustic, but kind of like rock music as well. Which one is for you? Um, remember that they do kind of make awfully good birthday and Christmas presents. So if you get one for now, you can always get the other one a little later on. Um, but you're going to be kind of focusing more on pop or folk or maybe blues music if you get an acoustic guitar for now. Uh, though you can do rock stuff as well. And you're probably going to be focused on kind of rock and more band type songs if you get an electric guitar. Um, Beginners tend to sway towards acoustic, maybe because, like, in my opinion, like, from my perspective, you want to get good first before you start play, playing guitar, so you get yourself an acoustic, it's kind of a simpler instrument. However, electric guitar is probably easier. Um, in fact, quite a lot of people find it an awful lot easier and get an awful lot better much quicker when you get an electric guitar first. It is a bit more of a palaver with um, having to get an amp as well. But as I say, if you get one of the guitar packs, you can't really go wrong. Um, the fuzz that you get on an amplifier can make your mistakes less noticeable in the beginning. So um, that it doesn't kind of cover up bad playing or anything, but it just makes everything sound a little bit nicer. And when you first start playing, you've got that as an, as an option. Um, kind of dial it up to the Eddie Van Halen preset and just kind of rock out a little bit. Kind of one chord, one A chord on an electric guitar kind of sounds awesome, it still does to me. Um, you've got a clean channel on your amplifier and an overdrive channel as well. So you get kind of two sounds for the price of one on electric. Whereas when you have acoustic, you're kind of stuck with the one sound that you have and you're limited in styles of music that you can do. So that's my advice to you if you are unsure get an electric guitar. If you have your heart set on an acoustic guitar, um, make sure it's got a solid top. And I'd, I'd definitely spend a, a little bit more uh, in the beginning than you, you may feel kind of 100% to. It can also kind of make you play it um, if you spend a little, little bit more on it. Um, but you don't have to spend the earth because I haven't. I use these two guitars professionally and they are my workhorses. And as I say, I don't like my guitars to cost more than my car. Um, okay, dokie, thanks for checking out this video. Hope you are happy with the electric guitar that you buy. If you can at all, please pick it up and try it before you buy it. Um, even possibly be cheeky and go into a guitar shop, uh, try out the guitar and then find it somewhere else cheaper online. It's terrible to do it, but that is the world we live in these days, I'm afraid. Um, I hope to see you again when you get your new electric guitar or your second-hand electric guitar. There's nothing wrong with those. And um, I will hopefully see you again for some more fun uh, Easy Beginner songs.